morning, everyone. Um, so this week, we're looking at doing a little bit of shape and line. So we're going to move into some new chapters. And we talked a little bit about space. We talked a little bit about some pattern. Uh, we definitely did some shapes. All right. Space is right here. All right. And all this will eventually bring us into our project, which we're going to start doing a kid's book. All right. Like for kindergartners, it's something you can read to little kids, have fun sounds with it, work fun words into it. You can even make it uh, whatever your kid kind of really want. So we got to build our building blocks of the basics first. Okay. And then we can start adding in our storyline. So our storyline all has to deal with everything we've accumulated over the past well, a couple weeks in order to build our characters to be strong and in order for our story to really make sense and come all together. Because you add the color to it and you add the characters to it and you add your drawing to it and it is awesome. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get a lot about it in this one and we'll be able to move on to that next section. So we're just going to work in our next project here which actually is um, cubism. Now, there's a bunch of different styles that you can use. So if anybody's ever watched South Park, all right, it's kind of a form of cubism, but it's mostly, I guess you would call it shapism because uh, they use just shapes that are cut out and they do kind of a stop motion or computer motion and animation in order to create that entire series. And a lot of other cartoons uh, really started off like that, just moving shapes around, uh, whether it's line or whether it's actual shapes that are being moved around. Claymation is very much like that. If you've ever seen Chicken Run or Trolls or any of those movies, all of that is all claymation. Or, or the box trolls, not the trolls trolls, like the funny curly haired, crazy haired trolls. Uh, so uh, if you've watched those movies, uh, Pengu, uh, there's there's tons and tons of different animation. Oh, uh, Wallace and Gromit, perfect example. All right, uh, claymation where it's stop motion. Okay, you can. There's tons of stuff out there, and it all deals with shape and form. But we're not getting into form. We're mostly dealing with shape right now. So. All right. So what you're going to need for this assignment is um, the white sheet of paper that I gave you, this uh, black piece of construction paper, your glue a pair of scissors and multiple pens like this or you can even use watercolors for your project. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do is what I did was I just cut a little bit off the end. I don't want it to take up my whole paper. So you're, you just cut a little bit off the end like this. If you want your tree trunk to be nice and tall, you can do it that way. Okay, but I shortened mine up a little bit. And I'm going to keep my shape very geometric, as well as everything else. Okay, so when you think of shape of a bird, all right, the shape of a bird is really, it's kind of an oval shape. All right, so. We're going to put this down right there. And that's the start of my tree. Now, what we're going to do next is take our black pen, or we can take a different colored pen, usually a darker pen. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create those branches from there. We're pretty much done with our scissors. So we can go ahead and leave them out. But if you have a black pen, um, that's the best to use. But if you just want to use something dark, like a purple or a blue, you can do that too. Or you can use different colors. I might do that. This is your project, okay? So have fun with it. And just have a good time. So 
Uh, we're gonna add our branches first, like this. Maybe I want to have like a little squirrel down here. So a little squirrel has got like a little head and it's got a little body like this and it's got a little tail, right? It's got little ears like that. But we want to make this so it's recognizable um, but it doesn't have all this organic shape. So what we really need to do is we take this figure right here. So this kind of looks like an oval. Right? This right here. We make like an oval. And then maybe we make kind of a oval right here. Alright, so that was pretty painful, right? Okay. Enough yamming along. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna fast forward here a little bit. And I'm just taking these organic shapes and I'm turning them into geometric shapes. So check it out a little bit here. And I was trying to draw like a little squirrel. But I couldn't quite remember what a squirrel looked like. Uh, so I just started drawing little shapes. And sometimes that's all we're going to do. We're just going to doodle. In order to kind of start our creative process, we really have to just go nuts with stuff sometimes. And we can either remember it from memory or we can kind of look at other things. So I started doing this on this page. And the more that I looked at it and then colored it with purple, yeah, that was a bad idea. So if you have bad ideas, it's okay. Just scrap what you got sometimes and just start over. All right. So what I did with kind of this next section, I started to do some more rough drafts, trying to draw like a little quail looking character and then uh, add on to it with a few other geometric shapes to really give it that kind of cubist look. Um, and I just, I just kept trying. I just kept going and doing more and more things. I moved on from this and then, you know, purple, not a good color for an outline. So I decided to just go with a whole new tree, change the purple branches into black branches, did a whole new thing, and just started doing a bunch of angry bird looking things. And then I do a, did up a duck, and then I really started going geometric with the duck, and then I just pushed a little further and a little further as hard as I could. So hopefully you'll get a little inspiration from these geometric shapes here and you'll get a little better understanding of what the whole creative and thought process is going from organic to geometric shapes. It's really easy. Everything either has a square or a circle or, or a rectangle or a triangle or a polyhedron. Just add to them and then just you know, erase away what you need to, and then add back to it, and then outline it, and then go back over it. Whether it's a horse that looks like a llama, or a goat that looks like a dog, you know, you, you just got to keep trying, you got to keep going. So, what I'm going to do is just go through like one more little sketch really quick, and then I'll show you kind of like some really cool designs that I did, kind of a quail image. I took that organic shape and I just kind of did a fun little cartoon outline and I just tried to match up the geometric shapes with uh, the organic shape. So hopefully it all turns out and hey, started adding in a little bit of color, made my tree look a little better because you really want your art to look good. You just don't want to rush through it and say, okay, that's it. Anybody could do that. So I added in a woodpecker. And then the quail. And then, hey, you know what? It's hoopah. So I added a little, little acorn. All right. So enjoy the rest of the music. I'll fast forward here. Stop yapping before the duck starts again. And have a great time with art.
right, so here's the bad one, and here's the good one. And take your time, have a good time, and your art would look really cool.